prisons. This is the very last version of the prison game that he created, and the reason I think it works is that the prison is not actually in it. Okay. Again, it's dark and creepy, I don't like it. I'm a big scaredy cat. Something's gonna try and eat me. Okay, I feel like this is something like Harry Potter. Is it me I'm looking for? It's a conversation. And so this is what Coda wants, is to be able to talk to someone, to share what's on his mind, and to get some good advice from someone who knows. But the irony is that even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. You know, all of these games so far are Coda talking to himself. This is really weird. Interesting, so is that how Kota was feeling at the at the time? I can see why he considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. After all of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay. Wouldn't that be nice? It's interesting. This is really weird. Of a main fuck. So what would it look like if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? Why is it why is it written so creepy? I don't want to die. To me, this environment is meant to represent Coda's puzzle, with the two doors on either side and a dark transitional space between. Thanks. Thanks for that. Ah, let's do it again. Is that soon? You'll notice that the quality of the art is a step up from previous games, including this new and improved chat system, which he started using from this point on. From here on out, he begins putting much more effort into the visual polish of his work. And this particular game took two months to create as a result.
So, if this is about Kota, then while he's working, he feels sort of at peace and content and happy. A feeling that he doesn't really get from anything else in life, which sort of conveys that he's alone and maybe has societal issues and this is his way of making friends and sharing. That's basically just a never ending list of things to do. Whoops, I would drop my mouse. After the intense set of prison games, this house cleaning level almost feels like cleansing. It's the moment after a particularly difficult or traumatic experience where you just need to let it sit and digest inside of you, and eventually cohere into something meaningful. So it just never I ends. I really like this game. Of all of his work, actually, this was the only one that he called me up to ask me to come over and look at it. This was during a period of a few months where he was like grossly happy all the time. He just walked around with a constant smile on his face. Cool, was happy. That's nice. Okay, I'm 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 over this now. Can we can we move on to something else? Fuck the couch, no one cares. I'm glad he found some peace. But of course it can't last. The music stops, your companion is gone, it's time to leave. The door at the top of the hill is now open as well. Again, you can't stay in the dark space for too long. You just can't. You have to keep moving. It's how you stay alive. Now the lamp. Which is the whole point of the puzzle doors, right? That sooner or later you have to pick up and move. Is that half a tree? <laughs> it's a I really tree. thought that was the point of it. This one gets a bit goofy.
About halfway through the game, the perspective shifts. Oh, what the fly up tuck. And you play as the teacher. And suddenly, you discover that your teacher is just as bigoted and afraid as you are. Oh, and also you can move around the classroom now. Animation is really cool. It looks really good for something made in 2008 or 2009. I fell pretty hard for this one. I feel like it's one of the most relatable experiences that you can have. To uh, assume that some other person is perfect and totally fulfilled in every way and completely miss all of the little flaws that make them painfully human. I think about this game a lot these days. This one took a lot longer than all the others for Coda to make. It was four months between this and the last one. That's twice as long as it took him to make any other game before this, and it's not like it's particularly complex. No, it's a so stage. I remember I found that a little strange at the time. Whoa! Jesus, Johnny! Those lightning effects are pretty cool. Oh, that wall. <laughs> Whoops. Can't wait to photograph animals professionally. Fantastic. Stop shouting at me. Okay. Uh. Oh, it's different notes. <laughs> okay, on with it. Stop shouting at me!
Boo. Love post. Okay. The game ends with this eerie premonition of what's going to happen next in Coda's life. The solution to social anxiety, to fears of having to perform and having to chase success, the answer for Coda is to withdraw, to hide himself away. Which is what leads to scenarios like the stairs that slowed you down several games ago, where it just becomes harder and harder to access Coda's inner landscape because he keeps retreating. He just keeps backing away from possible connections to anyone other than himself. And to be honest, I didn't consider it very healthy when I first played this game. You know, it, it looked to me like he was trying to justify the idea of just disconnecting yourself from the world. And that wasn't what I wanted for him or for his games. Because I feel like a lot of his games are inviting me to connect. To connect with this person. To bring him closer. Uh, why but what so can you do? After this, Coda went off and took another five months to make a new game. 2010, nearly there. You must keep your eyes closed. <laughs> Why is there a thing floating towards us? Okay, I'm actually closing my eyes now. You should probably open your eyes if you oh. haven't already. It's okay. pretty much impossible to solve otherwise. And there is a solution, by the way. Is this the solution? Okay, let's get this up again. I think I know what I need to do. Truth. Oh, we saved it. Like I said, I was getting concerned. First off, he's never been this explicit in his work about exactly what he's thinking. So, where's that coming from? But then even weirder, his work has potentially stopped being an outlet for him. Not like he's having trouble iterating on ideas, but he literally just can't think of new ideas anymore. And in person, he was being a lot more distant than usual. Like, you know how sometimes a person will just deflect anything that you say in order to keep themselves disconnected all the time? It was that kind of thing. Here was the point in my relationship with Coda where I really started to wonder if he needed my help in some way. His games are going to get more desperate from here on out. After this game, it's almost six months before he finishes something new. Hmm, sounds like spiraling out of control. 